All right, I am giving this a go. This is Josh Friedman coming to you live from Zanzibar on the night about 10 minutes before, it'll, excuse me, not election day, but the revolution day begins here in Zanzibar. There are very large festivities that are already underway, and I think in about 10 minutes, when the clock strikes midnight, fireworks will be going off. I am right now outside of Stonetown, just outside of Stonetown. I don't know if this is technically part of Zanzibar City or not, but it seems, and I'll show you that at the moment, it seems as though basically the, the entire population of Zanzibar, at least all of the locals, seem to be here at the moment. Yeah, I would guess at, at the very least there are tens of thousands of people here at the moment, but I could easily see how there would be 100,000 or maybe more, maybe even well more than that, I don't know. The population of Zanzibar is a little more than a million, but it is, it is packed out here. It's been pretty noisy, although it got a little quieter right now. They're right over here, you can see they've got a, a concert stage set up. There is a DJ who is back there a ways that was blasting music moments ago, but they might have have him shut down in preparation for the fireworks going off. I don't know exactly. I'm hoping that I can actually go ahead and live stream a good chunk of this. I am filing YouTube reports about the event, although it's going to take a little bit of time for me to get back to finish up covering this and upload the video. So I'm thinking that I'm going to try to give you a live look at the celebration via Facebook. I'm streaming on the data that I have on my Tanzanian sim, so we'll see if it lasts. I hope it does. I'll try to provide you the, the action right after midnight, and I'll try to keep this going in a single live stream. To, to whoever's tuned in at the moment, thank you for joining me. If you could, please leave a comment. I see Kyle's left a comment saying, wow, how amazing. Thank you, Kyle. If you could, whoever's tuned in, please leave a comment letting me know about the volume. I know the volume could be an issue given that it's going to be very loud here, a lot louder than it is at the moment. And I'm just using this pair of iPhone headphones that I have. Uh, Kyle's saying I will try to visit Zanzibar this year. Zanzibar is truly amazing. I was planning on spending at first I thought a few days to a week, then I thought, all right, maybe I'll spend a couple weeks or a few weeks. I've already been here more than a month. Especially at this time of year, Zanzibar is incredible because you've got the, the beach resorts, but you've also got some very interesting culture and history, which is what I'm after right now. I left the beach earlier today. I was stationed in my little s slice of paradise in a place called Jambiani that's on the east coast of the main island of Zanzibar to come out here for Revolution Day which is kicking off apparently right now. There should be fireworks going off as soon as five to ten minutes from now. Maybe it takes a little longer, I'm not sure, but tomorrow there will be more festivities although it really seems like <laughs> This is the main act. If this is not the main act, then I'll be quite impressed to see what, what happens to what happens tomorrow. I'll give you a little bit more of a glance at the setup here. This is just a small little chunk of the setup. So here's the kids area. You see a lot of women and children. I think you can clearly see if I'm, I don't know what kind of view actually, but if, if you can see, you're, you'll see a lot of women with the jobs Zanzibar is more than 90% Muslim and the population here at, at this event is pretty much comprised only of locals. There are tons of tourists, especially from Europe, who come to Zanzibar and are here at the moment, but they're not at this very location. I, I really don't see anyone other than myself right now who classifies as a Mzungu. I actually heard a few people shouting out Mzungu as, as I was walking by, which is pretty funny. Mzungu basically means white man. And 
I, I can't see what time it is. I don't know. I don't know if there's a countdown starting now or what, but we certainly have got to be close to midnight. The, the time here is East African time, which is one hour ahead of East European time. It's two hours ahead of Central European time and three hours ahead of London and GMT. So we should be hitting midnight momentarily. I'm not used to live streaming on Facebook on my phone, so I, I don't even know what time it is exactly, but it's got to be just moments to midnight. Here's a little bit more of a look at the crowd. The, the, the crowd spans way more than what you can see here. They're, there are people and cars lined up on streets going in every direction from here. And it seems like now most of the, the action is heading in this direction, centered on where the DJ is. It's, as you can see, it's kind of difficult to walk around here. It's, it's jam-packed. We have, we have quite the, the foot traffic jam at the moment. I don't know if I can get you a much better view than this. Although this, it seems like I'm approaching the fast lane over as I bump into some people. If, all right, here's the, here's the concert stage, which people seem to be walking away from, not toward at the moment. Everyone seems to be heading in this direction. I, I'm guessing that's, the direction where they're going to shoot off the fireworks. Although it's just, just kind of madness here. There isn't a whole lot of order. Some people have some interesting outfits. Maybe you can see those, that guy's eyewear, the pink eyewear. That's kind of cool. I don't know exactly what the temperature is, but it's, it's pretty nice out, I would say. It's probably uh, like upper 20s Celsius, something like that. It gets blistering hot and humid here during the day. At night, it's nice. If you're by the sea, there's a breeze. We're not very far off from the seas, but, sea, but I, I feel no breeze at the moment. I'm probably not going to get any breeze here. Now, now I'm getting close to the DJ. If anyone Whoever's tuned in, if you could please leave a comment letting me know about the volume. I see Kyle previously left a comment about the volume saying the volume is fine. That's good to hear. At least it was fine then. I don't know if it's going to continue to be fine as I get closer to the DJ and they bump the music more. It's, I'm really running into some serious foot traffic here. I don't think I can get any closer than this. Once again, as I don't know if the clock has struck midnight, but some, somewhere around midnight. So once again, this is Josh Friedman coming to you live from Zanzibar on the kickoff of Revolution Day. January 12th every year is Revolution Day in Zanzibar. It commemorates a very bloody moment in the history of Zanzibar in which an estimated somewhere between a few thousand and twenty thousand I'm even kind of worried to be talking about this right here estimated few thousand to twenty thousand Arabs were killed and many other Arabs were booted from the island of the archipelago sent back to Oman as the native Africans overthrew their Mambo, Mambo, Mambo Yeah, fun times. Tough, tough subject, <laughs> hard topic, but fun times. As I was commenting about it in the... Oh, it sounds like a countdown now. I'll shut up and give you the view. Live from Zanzibar on Revolution Day 2018. And the 
crowd goes wild. I'm getting shoved off. <laughs> Rob says looks awesome, Josh. Thank you, Rob. Thank you for tuning in. watching. Will says bring them on camera. Uh, Will, it's kind of hard at the moment, but I'll try to get someone on camera. Once again, this is Zanzibar Revolution Day commemorating the 1964 revolution in which the native Africans overthrew their Arab rulers. This is, I believe, the 55th Zanzibar Revolution Day or 55th anniversary of the 1964 revolution which was followed just three months after the revolution the archipelago of Zanzibar united with what was then known as Tanganyika to form the modern East African country of Tanzania more on the history tomorrow and Visit the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Josh Friedman FMP. Enjoy the fireworks for now. More revolutions need to happen worldwide. Uh, that, that's an interesting point and a touchy subject, given that this revolution was a bloodbath. show beats all the firework shows here in Zanzibar for New Year's. Lots of tourists come here for New Year's. I can attest to this being a great New Year's destination. I guess New Year's revelers should stick around for January 12th. Zanzibar, Tanzania, January 12th, 2019, just outside of Stone Town. Rob says, unfortunately, freedom usually comes at a cost, but I'll stop being a downer and enjoy the fireworks. Oh, Rob, I appreciate the discussion. It's kind of fun to talk about revolutions while watching the fireworks a little multitasking going on and I don't have an answer for that I mean I, I can't I can't tell you whether to trigger fight or flight or whatnot in order to maintain your freedom but these fireworks are beautiful I 
and they're becoming harder to film. We've got to change the angle. Rob says some freaking beautiful fireworks, though. I would agree. I, I wasn't expecting this good of a show. But given the attendance, I guess they got to put on a good show. There got to be 100,000 or more here. Try to give you another look at the crowd. But this is just a tiny portion of the crowd. The crowd is... Oh, I just missed a good one. All right, I did a pirouette and the fireworks are back. Uh, Rob's saying I guess the oohs and ahs are the same everywhere with fireworks. I don't think so. They seem to be more pronounced here. I hear a lot of ooh, ah. <laughs> and a DJ bumping some low beats in the background. Speaking of nice weather, weather a moment ago, I'm now working up a sweat. I don't know if that's coming across on camera. But I'm grateful that I'm managing to capture this on Facebook Live. I think this is working out pretty well. And thank you to everyone who's tuning in. And whoever watches on the replay, enjoy as well. Rob says thanks for the show, buddy. Impressive. You're very welcome. Thanks for tuning in. And thanks for engaging. Silent fireworks just went off. Also seems like the concert stage is getting a little louder. I don't think this party is anywhere near over. I'm not going to be streaming the entire thing. Although I'll keep going for a bit longer, at least with the fireworks. Seems like a bunch of people are pointing at something in a different direction. I don't know what that is.
let's just call that the grand finale. Yet. I, oh. Alright, so the fireworks are going to keep going, I, I don't know how long, but I'm going to wrap this up. I, as you can see, I'm sweating and it's pretty crowded here. So stay tuned to my Facebook page and the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Josh Friedman FMP, for more coverage from Zanzibar Revolution Day 2019. Thank you for turning in, and for now... Goodbye.